Hello, welcome back to the Top Shelf, my Criterion uh, review series. Uh, my name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Rapple filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator. And today we're taking a look at the top shelf of my media collection, which includes the Criterion collection. And on the top shelf for today is another Akira Kurosawa film that I had to have but didn't own, um, High and Low. Uh, High and Low is another great example of all of this uh, planning and script writing and acting and cinematography and blocking and framing and storytelling that Akira Kurosawa was able to collaborate with so many people on to bring to such a great, uh, great caper film. Um, and uh, in it uh, stars the great Toshiro Maifuni as a shoe mogul. Um, who is trying to fight being uh, bought out from his company, um, while at the same time, as he gathers the money, uh, uh, a kidnapping happens and a ransom is demanded, and he has to decide what to do between, you know, saving himself or saving uh, the kidnapped child. And it goes, and there's twists and turns that if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil for you. But, um, but I will spoil one thing, um, and that's the aspect of the idea of mystery that Kurosawa plays with. This becomes a mystery of who done it, uh, but it flips again, uh, like, the, like uh, the master of the craft that he is, to become a police procedural. And it does so so seamlessly um, that I think that, that this film is a, it was a huge influence, I think, on uh, Ryan Johnson's Knives Out, which sort of does the same thing. Um, so, um, the, the reason why I purchased it was one, it was on sale, but two, I don't have it, but I, I've watched it constantly on the Criterion channel, no plug intended, um, but uh, and it becomes one of my favorites of the genre. And it's just another reminder of how, how, what a damn good director Kurosawa was. So we're breaking out the glasses, to take a look at the features. High and Low was uh, from 1963. It's 143 minutes, black and white with color. Um, 4.0 surround with, in Japanese with English subtitles. Uh, 235 aspect ratio, which means you're going to get the black bars at the top and the bottom on your television screen. And uh, the, the special features include a high definition digital restoration um, with uh, four track uh, mono surround sound. Um, which means they're taking the actual files of the audio and putting them on this Blu-ray. Audio commentary featuring Kirikusa scholar Stephen Prince, of course. 37-minute document on making of high and low, created as part of the Toho Masterwork series, uh, Kirikurosawa. It is wonderful to create, which is a great series if you can uh, find them on these discs. They, they go very in-depth into the creation of these films individually, from casting to writing to costuming uh, to filming. Um, it's always, it's probably one of the best film schools out there is uh, Akira Kurosawa, It's Wonderful to Create. His, uh, the one they did on Seven Samurai is, I can't highly recommend enough. Um, rare video interview with actor Toshiro Mafuni from 1984. Wow, that's his, uh, really cool. Video interview, um, I already read that. Theatrical trailers and teaser, plus a booklet, of course, the requisite booklet, featuring an essay by critic uh, Godfrey O'Brien, and an on-set account by Japanese film scholar Donald Ritchie. So, he, Donald Ritchie was actually there for um, uh, the filming of it. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, High and Low by Akira Kurosawa is on the top shelf for today. Uh, spine number, this is an early one, uh, 24. So, um, please stay tuned for more to come. Um, I'm happy to provide these for you. Hopefully you get something out of it. And um, thank you, and I will catch you next time.